Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's Cons Vlogs. We're back with another video. This is gonna be something that all newer Mustangs, I think from 2022 and up, I know it's in the S650s, the newer generation as well. And I know this is in the GTs from 2022 to 2023 as well. They had something added from the factory from the previous model years that actually reduced the horsepower. I didn't really know this when I bought my Mach 1 until doing more research afterwards. Um, after like the first week, I was like, I wonder why that is. Um, and I still couldn't figure it out until I came across a video this week online um, showing the first thing you need to do when you buy a Mustang to increase horsepower. Long story short, a 2021 Mustang Mach 1 will dyno anywhere from 425-ish to 440-ish at the wheels. Um, but then a 2022 and a 2023, they were dynoing it closer to 410 to 415 at the wheels. And so I was like, well, why is that? Lo and behold, they tore open the stock intake and they found something. If you guys have watched my previous videos going over this or any other videos on the Mach 1s, you know that they come stock with the GT350 intake, throttle body, and intake manifold. Now we know this is where the Mach 1 gets its extra rated 20 horsepower over the GT. But why was the Mach 1 from 2023 and 2022 10 horsepower less? Really, it was like 15 to 20 horsepower less to the wheels than the 2021 model. Turns out they made some adjustments to this intake. So this mass airflow sensor moved. On the 2021 models, it's over here. On the 2022 and up, it's over here where mine is. Mine's a 2023. What they don't tell you is there is a reduction tube right here that actually makes the intake a little bit smaller so that it can hold this little guy right here. This is a hydrocarbon trap that they put in newer cars intake systems um, for emissions purposes and it actually ends up costing your car horsepower. If you guys have seen on the S650, the 2024 and up Mustangs, they have dual throttle bodies, two air intake boxes and they both have one of those in each side. You take those out, the cars pick up anywhere between 10 to 15 wheel horsepower. Turns out it's the same for the Mach 1s and the Mustang GTs. I do wanna shout out this YouTube channel because this is the one that gave me the information about this, Tony's Fords and Mustangs. So he actually has a 22 Mach 1, I believe, uh, manual. He had it dyno and it made 405 or 406 or whatever wheel horsepower. He took that out, took it back to get dynoed again. His car actually ended up picking up 18 wheel horsepower. Um, that's, that's a pretty significant difference for just pulling out that little air filter. That thing must disrupt the airflow pretty bad in there. Um, but yeah, shout out to him, go check him out. He's got tons of videos on it and whatnot. So as I was mentioning, this thing sits right about here and there's a reduction cone in there that holds this in place. Now, I am not telling you to remove this to pick up more horsepower. Your car will make more horsepower without it, but it is actually required in a lot of states. Um, so that will be going back in my car just to be safe. It's gonna be going back in my car. See, so all you have to do is obviously disconnect the math, um, loosen the clamp here on the throttle body so that this can come out. Um, you do have to take the filter off, um, and then there's four 10 millimeter bolts, one behind there, and then one up there as well. You can see that one really well. There's four of those. You take them off, that releases the cover that allows you to slip the whole intake out, and then the tube sits inside and there's plastic clips you have to clamp down, pull it out. It's kind of a hassle, it's not the funnest thing to do. I struggled a little bit getting the pins to all, all the plastic clips to seat down while I pulled the tube out, but other than that, it was pretty pretty basic stuff. Does it get old? You guys know the Mustang sounds incredible, all right? I mean, I mean, come on. That's nice, okay? But hear me out. I wanted to scream a little bit more. I wanted a little more open, if you will, more loud. What do you guys think? Do we want headers? Do we want headers? Or do I just wait and do boost? Get that out of the way ASAP. This car's gonna have to get boosted at some point. It might not be this year, but it needs to happen. Might need a little bit more loud as well. 
I don't know. What do you guys think? Oh, yeah, yeah. She looks great. So, that's going to be it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know it wasn't the most crazy video. Really, I just wanted to show you guys that hydrocarbon trap and the fact that it can actually make your car make quite a bit more power for something that simple. And then, I don't know if I showed you guys yet. We did put a GT350 spoiler on it, the track pack one, not the R. Um, so it's the less aggressive one, and honestly, I'm a huge fan. I was going to do the GT500 one like everybody else does on their mock because it comes on the handling pack, but we're going to make this car a little bit different than everybody else's mock. Um, not that everybody else's mock is not cool, I just kind of want to do my own thing, make it a little bit more my style. I'm going to go for kind of an OEM plus look on this car, but she's not getting anything anytime soon because we're saving up for something big and I don't know when it's going to happen. But thank you for being patient with me. If you guys missed my last upload, the Blackwing, it's gone. I will link um, the playlist in the description below. Go check it out. What do you guys think is coming next? Let me know in the comments of that video. Um, and let me know what you guys want to see next on the Mach 1. I know a lot of you guys don't like it, but I know that a lot of you guys do like it. And I love it. And trust me, if you got behind the wheel of this thing, you would fall in love instantly. I guarantee it. But thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you guys on my next video.